Welcome back to Scale Auto Guys Workbench. Today we're working on the Monogram Dodge Ram VTS pickup. It's in their Dream Rides edition. Picked this up at Ollie's a couple weeks ago when they had all of that clearance priced kits in their store. I did pick up a couple of kits so you're going to see those eventually on the channel. On this particular build, this is the 96 truck that was at the Chicago Auto Show. Comes with the Viper V10 engine. It's made to be a sport pickup, nothing more. You're not going to haul your fifth wheel with it. Well, maybe you could, but I don't think the suspension will handle it. But anyway, let's take a look at what came in the box. This kit is 87 pieces so it's gonna be a decent build first up is your body it's all one piece not a separate cabin bed also has a wide open back here it does have the parts and pieces to fill this gap in but this being like this opens up the possibility of a kit bash situation where you could kind of turn this into like a Dodge Durango if you wanted to with a little bit of scratch building a, a roof line back potential but there it is on your first parts tree out of the bag let me move that <laughs> comes your hood and this is the piece that goes in the back of the cab there separates the cab from the bed tonneau cover and your tailgate well part of your tailgate On this part's tree is your V10 engine and your rear suspension. On this part's tree, whoo, gotta flip it over. Here's the rest of your tailgate. Two piece dash. Separate exhaust system, which is nice because you know how I like those. You can detail them nicely. I don't like having to paint in the exhaust pipes that are molded in. Those are a pain in the butt. And this next tree is your interior tub and your seat. Separate door panels so that will make it really nice to get in there and detail paint. It's got a little texture down here in the bottom for your simulate your carpeting. A little bit on the floorboard. Here's your rim for your spare tire. Why they give you two of them, I have no idea. Speaking of spare tires, here's your tire tree. This is a plain wall tires. Nice tread pattern. They're pretty solid rubber. So putting those rims in there might be a little bit of a challenge. Sometimes when I've had trouble in the past, I usually take a paintbrush and some Dawn dish detergent and I'll either run it around here or I'll run it around the rim and then those things will just pop right in there. It's amazing how slippery that soap is. On the last tree is your frame and part of your chassis, your firewall and front suspension parts. Notice that there's like no flash anywhere it's amazing I come to expect that from monogram and Ravel both quality it's not like the old old AMT kits that they're using you know 50 year old molds that that are very poorly maintained and you got flash everywhere it usually ends up taking you know an hour to clean it all up whatever that's part of the modeling thing you know we all have to go through that but sometimes it's a little annoying but anyway I digress here's your chrome parts tree your headlight assemblies here and well those are kind of thin I didn't notice that before those are kind of thin rims and that would explain the ridge on the inside of the tires 
and make up for the difference, I guess. We'll leave that in the bag for now. Next tree is your windshield and rear glass. Headlight wraparound lenses, I guess. This is the lens for going over your dash gauge part of your dash. Speaking of which, here's your decal sheet with the dash gauges on the decal sheet. I like that they put those on these, uh, the decal sheets in these kits these days. They never used to do that and you always had to kind of just paint it in to make it look like there was a gauge there. Now you just put a decal in there. Makes it look really nice. A couple of license plates and uh, some Ram VTS logos to put on the bed. The last parts tree is your tail lights in the red clear. Last thing that came in the box is the decal sheet. I always call it the decal sheet. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Instruction sheet. Instruction sheet. I got decal sheet on the brain. Looks pretty straightforward. So, okay. Oh, I get it. I just saw it. Okay. The, I'm, again, stupid. <laughs> I figured out what these were for. These are not for your spare tire. Although, there should be one in there for your spare tire because they give you five tires but anyway these are the wheel backs for your fronts because it has disc brakes these are for your rears because drum brakes that explains it okay anyway let's get the sub assemblies put together once we get all that put together we'll head on over to the paint booth lay down some primer and we'll go from there see you at the paint booth
All right, fellas, I finished up the interior and for whatever reason, I just got busy working on it and didn't think to turn on the camera. I do that from time to time for whatever reason. But here's the completed interior. I did it a two-tone, well, actually more like a three-tone gray. The outer, let me get something to point with. This outer portion of the seat is a little bit different color from the inner inside. And of course, obviously, this is a different color too. But that's how the interior looks. Get a little bit of closer picture. So, let's get on to installing the windows. I got all of the underhood parts painted flat black. I got my trim around the windows painted. And it's time to do the windows. So let's get started on that. Okay, fellas, I'm ready to install the glass. What I did while you guys weren't looking is I went ahead and got inside here, painted the headliner and some of the trim. And I also painted the visors and the black trim around the window. I didn't do any around the back window though. I'm just gonna leave that the way it is. <clears throat> so before anybody has a heart attack over the paint scheme here, I have to tell you, I have some personal experience with this particular paint scheme setup as I own a 95 Ram 2500 that has the same interior color setup with the two-tone gray, the somewhat, I didn't match the headliner exactly the headliner in my truck is actually a little bit lighter than that, but this is the lightest color paint that I have. So, also, before we get any too much further, I recommend getting some, like, cotton gloves so that you're not leaving fingerprints all over your glass when you install it. So it kind of goes in fingerprint free. I... I would guess rubber gloves would work as well, but I had these laying around, so decided to use them. Going at this at the wrong angle, I believe. Okay, come on, get in there. You know, when I test fitted this, it popped right in there, right into place. There we go. Now, if you want to keep this angle, take a paint bottle or something like that and put it up underneath the back end of the vehicle so that you can maintain this angle while you glue in your glass. And I would recommend using Mod Podge or even Elmer's glue or if you want to go a little bit more special than that you can use canopy glue I love the Mod Podge so that's what I use and you don't need a whole bunch you just need just a little dab at the bottom and this is going to be a little tricky, but I'm going to try to just get a little dab at the top. I may have to go back through and touch up my paint to cover that up. But in the meantime, the front window's in. And we'll be, I'll let this set for a little bit and get that back window put in as well. Let me squish this around a little bit. All right, there we go. That should dry clear. And hopefully, 
you won't see any well much of any remnants of the glue all right be back in just a little bit we'll get that rear window in and then we'll be on to i believe the next steps are suspension and engine installation and that pretty much will be it so i'll see you in a little bit okay now onto the rear window this has a little ridge to it make sure that that goes to the outside and get this in here without it falling through <laughs> now using the cotton gloves is a, is a little bit of a pain in the butt but I like using them so I don't get fingerprints all over the glass because inevitably I forget to clean the glass before I put it all together and then after it's all together I have fingerprints on the inside and uh, then it makes the model look terrible okay so that's now in place I'm going to uh, get the Mod Podge ready and i'm gonna have to turn this so you guys can't really see what i'm doing but i'll see you i'll show you what i'm doing after it's done okay and then i'm going to take my toothpick and kind of Drag the glue along. Make sure that it's spread out a little bit. Okay. And that's it. Let that sit and dry. And we'll be back with the chassis and the suspension. And we're almost done. All right, fellas, welcome back to the final. This is number one and number two of a three-part build. Number three is still under construction, but is far enough along that it should be coming shortly. Now, I built the Ollie's purchased monogram Dodge Ram VTS pickup with just a little bit of a different paint job i decided to not go with the stripes because i put the full spectrum dragonfly glaze uh, on the paint so 
it really kind of jumps off the body at you. As far as the display case trailer, that is, I didn't glue the clear top on it. So I can remove that if I want, or I can leave it like that to display the car that's going in there. Oops, I gave it away. <laughs> this was inspired by a photograph that I had come across on the internet one night, and I decided I'm going to build that. So I had all of the elements to do it with, and so here we are. The VTS pickup is built box stock. There's nothing added to it other than the drawbar on the back. That's all scratch built. I also added safety chains to the trailer, which were not box stock. By the way, those were... Those were put on as a courtesy from my daughter she has an etsy shop called mystical mayhem jewelry she does all kinds of uh, handmade jewelry and crocheted animals etc etc so if you guys get a chance check her out over on etsy you might find something that you like there it's called mystical mayhem jewelry so there, there's a plug. <laughs> so, all right. Well, let me know what you guys think of this. This turned out really well. I'm really happy with the, the paint job. The, the blue, when I initially put it on the truck, looked a lot darker than what I really wanted it to be. But as soon as I put the dragonfly glaze and the clear coat on it, it really brightened it up. So the color looks almost perfect for the truck and the uh, display case trailer well that was a pretty simple build there was not a whole lot to it the hardest part about it is putting that clear cover together because it's the joints aren't very good and they it's kind of floppy but uh, I got it together so if you like this video please consider giving it a thumbs up if you haven't already subscribed please consider subscribing I've got a lot more coming to the channel if you've already subscribed thank you if you want you can leave me a comment in the comment section below thank you for watching scale auto guys workbench and I'll see you on the next build <laughs>